What's up guys, it's Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. If you are a long term subscriber of the channel, you might recognise where we are. This is actually Charlotte's bedroom, uh, so we've come over to Birmingham for the weekend just to see her family and look at the view. Beautiful. Right, it's going to be a good day. Sunny, let's get started. Right, so it's been a little while since I've given you guys a physique update, probably a good four to five weeks now. Um, I'm sitting around about 178, 179 pounds consistently now. Because you know how my weight fluctuates, it's never linear or all that crap. I won't go into it, but I'm sitting around about 178 pounds now, so let's say that. And um, yeah, I've already had breakfast, it's around about 11 o'clock, so it's important to know that the abs aren't as good as they were an hour ago, so I should have done this an hour ago, but anyway, here goes nothing. So. Here's some separation in the arms. Bicep peak has always been a, a weakness of mine, but as you can see, the line in between my bicep and my tricep is coming in. So um, that's something, I guess. The other arm. Shoulder development. The shoulders on, on my part are, are much more developed than, than anything else. Yeah, not too bad, but anyway, here's the abs. Here's the, here's the part I don't really want to show. Okay, that's that. <laughs> uh, right, so legs. Legs, I've always had really big legs, but never actually too defined, so actually beginning to see some definition in the legs now, a little bit, so yeah, overall, not too bad, around about 178 pounds, um, roughly, give or take, so uh, yeah, let's get on with the rest of the day. Okay. Hello? Oh, nice one, thank you. Hey, what's that, man? Good boy. Stanley! Hiya! <laughs> Are you Stanley? <laughs> okay, everybody. This is Stanley. Uh, hello. Here he is. Hiya. <laughs> this is Charlotte's family dog of, how old is he now? Three. He's three. He's three years old. Oh, and there's a slobbery mess, aren't you? You're a slobbery mess, yeah. You want a drink, doggy? Hey? You want a drink? There you go. Good boy. Okay, so next task of the day well not next task it's more like the first thing we've done all day but um hey i made breakfast i thought you were genuinely having a go at me then i was like what <laughs> we're gonna go to charlotte's grandma and granddad's house uh for a couple of hours just say hello and see the family we're gonna have a little bit of story time on the way unfortunately i do have a bit of bad news i don't like there to be bad news on the channel but um something's come up and i kind of have to explain it to you guys Right, unfortunately this is not a happy story. I like the channel to be a very happy place. I like it to be a very positive place. Um, but something's happened um, and it's the reason that I haven't been posting on Instagram as much. Um, cut long story short, my phone got stolen. 
Um, the police are on to it. We know who the people are. You know, we've done as much as we can. The phone has been shut down. Um, but yeah, the reason that I didn't post on Instagram for three, four days straight, which is a long time for me. I post once, if not twice a day. Um, and yeah, so that that's that. I mean, I'll give you guys more info when I know it. Um, a new phone is on the way through insurance, um, but we've done everything we can, and that's it. So that's enough uh, negativity. On with the positive stuff. On with the day. Okay, so, just so this video actually makes some sense, as you can see we are at a place called Barter Marina. There's loads of like nice boats in the background and all that kind of stuff, a couple of good restaurants, and what else is there? Uh, oh, there's a cinema as well, which is pretty cool. I mean, we're not doing any of that kind of stuff, we're just having a couple of drinks and just, we came over to meet Charlotte's dad because he's buying a boat, it'd be a, it'd be a, a long story, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the camera away for the rest of the night um, and enjoy a couple of drinks and then just, yeah, I'll speak to you guys in the morning. And good afternoon, YouTube. We've just nipped to the shops um, purely for some hay fever tablets because we both struggle pretty bad with hay fever. We're just trying to prevent it as much as possible. We ended up picking up a meal deal. We just nipped to co-op. Uh, what I normally do is just look for the lowest calorie crisps that there is. Um, in this case, I went for some Skinny Pop, which is just a company. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, my bad. The audio f***ed up. Um, happens when you make videos and that's just one of them. I'll just carry on and finish off what I was saying and that is that we went and picked up some low calorie skinny popcorn, a white monster and a bacon sandwich. The bacon sandwich I'm not too fussed about, I have bread every now and then, it shouldn't be as big of an issue as people make it out to be. Um, and also, the rule is, if you go and pick up a meal deal, it was £3.50. The monster's normally around about, I don't know, £1.50. Um, and if you're coming home, not necessarily if you're out or not out and about, if you want a water, get a water or, you know, a, uh, whatever. Um, but the rule is, if you are coming home and you can have another drink, you pick up a white monster. Purely because they come at an additional cost and then you can just have tap water at home and treat yourself to the monster whenever you feel like it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I rambled a lot more than I did in that previous clip, but it, it's, it, it's fine. Back, back to the video. Well, I think we were... <coughs> I think we were... Here. Oh, good morning, Stanley! <laughs> good morning! Oh, did you miss us? Did you miss us? Yeah! Right. Okay, so I wanted to round off today's video by saying, um... I want to kind of touch upon the whole phone thing again. Um, only a little bit. But, uh, to, you, you know what, I, I look ridiculous. Just one sec. Okay, so, what I wanted to touch upon um, to finish off today's video, guys, is the whole, with the whole phone thing, you know, it's it's been stolen and the situation... Uh, it's pretty shit. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's pretty shit. But what we as human beings and what us as, you know, just the whole LSJ community kind of thing, and everyone, in fact, if everyone can adopt this philosophy, if you like, then, then, then that would be great. Um, right, I'm just going to jump straight into it. N not everyone in this world is good. Not everyone in this world is happy. Not everyone in this world is, you know, a good person. Not everyone in this world is going to want to do something to benefit others. 
Now, I'm not saying that, that, you know, there are some seriously bad people, but I mean, you know, stealing a phone, but anyway. Um, not everyone in this world is going to want to better other people's lives. And the more people that we have that are like that, the better. And also, the sooner that we realise that not everyone is going to be like that, again, the better. Because as soon as you realise that, you can then rational rationalise the situation. You can think, right, okay, so this has happened. What do I need to do to, f to solve this problem as soon as possible, as calmly as possible, and in the most efficient, best, safe way possible, right? So to save me rambling on <laughs> even more than I already have and normally do, just... I accept the fact that not everybody out there is going to be your best friend. Not everybody out there is going to, you know, want to help you. And I accept that situations like this are going to happen. It's shit and it's not very common, but it does happen. It's not just me. There's plenty of other people. I have close friends that have had similar situations happen to them. But all I can say is take it and use it as motivation to better not only yourself, but others around you. Positively benefit their lives. Go out of your way to make someone smile. You know what, not, not, you don't even have to go out of your way. Just do something that is going to make them happy. Do something that you know is gonna make them smile. It could be something as, something so simple as, oh, I like that t-shirt, mate. Like, if, if you like the t-shirt, you know, let them know. It's gonna make them feel good. Something small doesn't cost you anything. Doesn't, that's, that's one thing that always rings true. Being polite and being a good person costs absolutely nothing. Holding a door open for someone, something like that. Just something that could influence somebody's day and just, you know, make them smile. Just, that's what I want to take away, want you guys to take away from this video. Not the fact that my phone got stolen, which it is shit, yes. But take away the fact that you can be a good person and do something today. Turn to the person next to you, let them know you love them. Something like that. Might make their day, who knows, you know, so. Just, you guys get what I'm saying anyway. You guys know how I go about my daily life in, in general anyway. So, I've rambled on enough. Just do your best to be a good person. That's all you can do in this life really, isn't it? Whether it's a sports club, whether it's, you know, a relationship, at university, in your studies, at home, anything. Just do your best to be good. Do your best. Anyway, right, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. Um... Yeah, and that's gonna round off today's video. There's nothing else left to say. Body power is less than one week away, so we are nine weeks into this 10 week series, and uh, I am buzzing, absolutely buzzing for it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, remember, no regrets. Together we will grow. See you guys in the next video.